Governor do not do. Of Cross River State said, Dr. B is merely a symbol for the frustration and hope of the masses. The masses of this country indeed are frustrated. A lot of things have gone wrong in the last seven years plus, and everybody was expecting or looking up to someone who will come and bail them out. But here we are, as a nation, Donald Duke, the former governor of Cross River State, has said that Peter Grigori will be the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, cannot take all the credit for the party's popularity. He sees Obi as a symbol of the people's frustration and hope for Nigeria's future. Donaldo claims that Obi has become a metaphor for Nigerians' hope and disappointment. The two major political parties, APC and PDP, People Democratic Party ruled on for 16 years, and after 16 years of their rule, even though they boasted that they are going to spend the next 60 years, but Nigerians rose up and gave all progressive Congress the opportunity to deliver the country from the shackle of People's Democratic Party. But what did we see at the end of the, uh, almost eight years now? It's like a man or a woman that tested two husbands or two homes that will know that, yes, there's always a difference. Nigerians today are lamenting over so many things, insecurity in the land, the Naira swap, and so many other things. In fact, the Naira swap or the Naira change was even the icing on the head of the matter, coupled with the lack of patrol throughout the election period, before and throughout the election period. But here we have a nation, said that we don't know what we want, or we just want to continue going around the same circle. Donald Duke question what Peter B could have said or done that the public has not already seen. And he voiced his belief that Obi's support came from people seeing themselves in him and seeing a sign of hope for the future. Indeed, a lot of people saw in him a sign of hope to change things in this country, to tend to make the difference. That was why the support was over, all over. Most of the results that we got this election through him has brought up a lot of things. Like one governor said that he is the hero of the 2023 presidential election. If not for him, how will almost 20 governors that wanted to go to the Senate lost their election? The president elect, the president lost their state in the presidential election. People that were taught that we easily win the election because of Obi tsunami, majority lost out. Yes, and that is the way Nigeria should start thinking. We should look at performance and not party anymore. If a candidate that is brought up is not going to perform or he has not performed in his position, there is no point looking up to anybody. Let the people rise up to the occasion and vote in the right person. And if we did not perform, let our votes begin to count. If the person did not perform, there are some states that the presidential election favor the All Progressive Congress, but the sitting governor of another party won in this gubernatorial election. Why? Because of the records on ground, the performance indices that people can point to that, yes, let us allow this person to continue. And that is the mentality we should all have as citizens of this country. Let the politicians begin to see and know that, yes, the votes of the people will count, no matter the kind of devices that Independent National Electoral Commission wants to improvise or provide. Let the people go with their permanent voters' card 
and voting the right person. Not only as the governor of the state or the president, the state as of assembly, national assemblies, we should begin to look at the credibility, the capacity, the integrity of those that the political parties are going to present. At the end of the day, we know we don't have independent candidates in this country, but let the political parties to know that henceforth, if, if either they give us the best from within the party, or we we'll begin to look for lesser parties that are not known, and we we'll begin to vote for them. And when they get into position of authority, and they are not performing, or they are not ready to perform too, maximum four years. After four years, they will be voted out. And that is one of the things that will strengthen this country, that will strengthen our democracy, that we don't even need to recourse to the court before people will know that, yes, there are some states that those that were performing won, and immediately the opponents started calling and congratulating them because they know there's not even if they go to court, nothing will come out of, the, of it. And that is the way our democracy should be entrenched. You perform, you get reelected. You will fail, hopefully, people will vote you out. The judiciary too will rest. Instead of calling the judiciary, anytime there's an election, you go to court. You go to court. That will not solve our problem. Which is enough of court declaring or giving us uh, people to rule us or to, to rule us in this country. Donald Duke is quoted as saying, for someone to start within six months and have that degree of attention, it is not him which will be personifies the wrath of the people and their desire for a better future. Where does Peter B stand with this fresh data? It will appear that he is the focus of attention. People gave him the attention, were ready to be voted, but at the end of the day, we are where we are as a nation. What is your view on this? Was it the anger in the land? Was it the frustration in the land that made people to follow Peter Obi? Or did they see him as a different politician that can solve the issues on ground, that can attend to their needs? Was that where he has this mass following? Or because of the insecurity that we had in the last seven years, lack of job, our roads are not secure, anywhere you get to the hospital, no drugs, the brain drain, the best of our hands are leaving the country. Everybody is thinking of leaving. Is that why they supported him? Or is it because of his competence, his capacity? They see him as a different politician. What is your take on this? Kindly make it known as you subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support.